What's up everyone, welcome to Talking Pop Culture, in this video we're reviewing The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers, Episode 10, the season finale, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, if you enjoyed the video, give it the thumbs up, your boy was right, I called it all in the trailers, I was going to do a video montage of everything I predicted and how it all came true, but you know what, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to predict what happens in a Disney show, honestly, they use the same formula every time, underdogs, get picked on, underdogs work their way up, underdogs become champions. They do it every time. It's just their number one formula, and it works. Sucked me into it. So this episode was pretty much all about the tournament, and you could see the Ducks at the Don't Bothers. They're beating all their teams, working their way to the final. However, in the final, unfortunately, Sophie has hurt her knee. She can't play. Well, she wants to play. The doctors are saying she shouldn't play because she could do more damage to it. You know, make her stop playing hockey, affect her from getting a scholarship. Her parents are like, we don't care. We just want you to be happy. You know, so she finally get, gets that, you know, relationship with her parents that she's always wanted. Um, and the team just pretty much say, you know, we've already won. You know, we, we're playing hockey. We've became friends. Coop has left the basement of his parents' house. You know, they've all accomplished something with this team. And they say, you know what? We're all forfeiting. We're all quitting. We're not playing. So the Ducks end up winning the title. Now, they're in the hallway, the Ducks are, oh, you know, Coach T, rubbing it in. Alex, the mom's like, you know, you didn't win, and it kills you. Anyway, he's like, we'll beat you anytime, anywhere. So she's like, all right, meet me at the Ice Palace, let's go. And then they make the stipulation that if the Ducks win, the Don't Bothers disappear, but if the Don't Bothers win, they get the Ducks name. Right then and there, I'm like, yeah, we know what's, we, we, come on, we know what's going to happen. You don't even need to have this game, we know what's going to happen. Anyway, come half time, they're getting their ass beaten. The don't bothers. And then Coach Bombay brings out a little present from the past ducks. And it was their actual jerseys that they wore with their names on them. The kids got to wear their jerseys. Bang, bang, bang. They win. They get the ducks name. There we go. End of story. My question is, though, now, where does this show go after this? Okay, like... Season one, obviously season two, they'll join another tournament where they're probably the underdogs again, and they'll make their way up and win. Um, maybe it's nationals or something like that. I just don't understand or can't see what they're going to do next. They can't, you know, you could do maybe the Coach Bombay and Charlie relationship and see what's happened there, dig into that, but then you kind of push the kids team aside you could focus on the kids going to school and all that kind of stuff but there's only so much you can do it can't be like cobra kai where you know they've got endless endless things that they can do the ducks i just don't it's just going to be the same thing they go to another tournament they get picked on they win you know what i mean i don't see this going for more than three seasons at most if that's what they do personally i think they should just leave it at the one season maybe make a vid movie in a couple years time where the kids are older maybe playing you know, college hockey or, you know, high school instead of middle grade, you know, high school hockey, I'm not too sure, but it's just a bit, I just don't know, what do you guys think, where do you think this show can go? Now, my overall rating for this show, throughout the 10 episodes, I finish it on a 7 out of 10, it was very entertaining, it was very nostalgic, it was beautiful, um, I hope they start selling <laughs> the original Ducks jerseys because, you know, Disney jump on the merchandise straight away. I'm going to buy one. I'm going to buy one. Uh, I never got to buy one as a kid because they really weren't released here in Australia because it was all, all obviously being big in America. If you wanted to buy it online, it's going to cost you like 50 bucks to get sent from America. So hopefully they release these and we've got some nostalgic stores here in Australia that, you know, release all the nostalgic stuff. So hopefully we get them here. But yeah, what was your thoughts, people? Let me know in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? Where do you feel they can go from here? What should they do? What was your favorite part of the show? What was your favorite character? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please take care of yourself and each other. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Enjoy, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.